Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I painted this frog using oil paint on a 24 by 24 stretch canvas. So I somehow misplaced the beginning clips of this video. Um, I don't know what happened to it. I've looked everywhere so we're starting probably uh, I probably missed a day's worth of painting here. So I'm painting the rose and I've already painted the background. I've just made a blurred background with uh, a couple leaves at the bottom. And then now I'm just painting the rose itself. I'm waiting to paint the frog because I, it's all wet still. Um, and I don't want the green to mix in with the pink because that would make um, mud really quickly because they're opposite colors. So I hope that everybody had a nice Christmas, a nice holiday. Um, we had a really good one. It was so much fun watching the kids open their presents. That's my favorite part. Um, that's probably every parent's favorite part. And I made it extra hard for the kids to open their presents by wrapping, um, well, I used a lot of uh, brown paper this year, um, like I did last year, and I used twine to wrap around each present, you know, and then put a bow on the front, and um, because my daughter mentioned last year that they were opening their presents too quickly, and it made it go by too fast, so I was like, well, I'll just make it harder. So I put the twine around and now they had to use like scissors to open it and it just takes a lot longer. And I hardly used any bags. So I sat, it, it took me a long time. I used my Cricut and made like, make them, I made them all like really pretty and it was very time consuming, but it was worth it just to see their faces and, um, it, it was just fun. It was fun to watch them and it not go by as quick as it would have if I had not taken the time to put all the extra, you know, things on the, the packaging to make it harder to open. So I think my favorite gift was a family gift that we got. We got a hockey table, an air hockey table, and... I love air hockey anyway. It's so like when we go to Dave and Buster's or someplace like that where that has air hockey tables, that's like my favorite thing to do. So now I'm always trying to get the kids to come down and play with me. I challenged my daughter. I, I text her and I was like, you ready to get a beat down on uh, the air hockey? And, and she was she put lol and I'm like what are you laughing at and then she came down and I actually beat her and I was not expecting to but I'm glad I did because that would have been embarrassing if I had lost after talking all that smack to her so since then she's she uh has gotten better or I've gotten worse I don't know but she's beat me I, I think every time since then <laughs> So I am still uh, working on the rose and this is my first time ever painting a rose. I know, right? I mean, probably I should have done one already, but this is my first time ever doing one and like it's real close up and um, it was, it was fun like blending and trying to find all the colors. There was a lot of warm and cool colors on this rose. So like some like corally pinks and even some um, cool purples. I wish that I had used a smoother canvas. This canvas is not like super smooth. It might have been a little easier to do the details on the frog especially.
So there's other parts of this footage that I I lost somehow. I guess I deleted it and I thought it would be on my cloud, but I couldn't find it there either. So I don't know if I thought I was recording and I didn't record. I don't know. This was like, this painting took me um, a few months of on and off working to finish. So it was like hours and hours of video. I had to really like cut it down too to get it to a reasonable length on here. I didn't want to go, I really didn't want to go over 15 minutes because I don't know how long you guys really want to watch. But if you like longer videos, let me know and I can um, easily accommodate and make them longer. Haha, <laughs> and look at my bathrobe in this picture. I. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. But I love that robe. When I come down to paint, I'm wearing like old clothes. I, don't, I do not wear anything nice because I am not a. An, a nice neat painter. I make a mess. I get it on my clothes. I have a lot of painting clothes that so that if I need to wipe my hands on something, I don't have a paper towel nearby. I just wipe them on my pants or on my shirt. Those are my painting clothes. So now I'm starting to put some of the details onto the rows. There's like some little brown spots um, on the front of the rows by the frog. And I kind of chose where I wanted to put details. I could have put more, but I ended up not getting like super detailed. So now I finally started on the frog and my rose is all dry and that way when I paint if the green mixes in with the pink of the rose it won't make mud because it's dry so it'll just go over top of it. So the way that I got my colors, um, the way I normally get them, if I want them to be similar to the actual picture that I'm um, referencing, I go in with Photoshop. I take the picture into Photoshop and I take the, the eyedropper tool and I point it at, you know, I click on whatever part of the picture I want to see what the actual color is. And then once I have that, it'll make a little swatch. And then you click on the paintbrush and kind of make a dot somewhere like where the page is white and then it kind of shows you the what it shows you the color <clears throat> that that actually is because sometimes when you have a color next to another one um it your your vision like it you visually are mixing the colors together and it'll look different than what it actually is so sometimes you'll be surprised at what the color is when it's separated from all the other colors next to it, if that makes any sense. So then I mix them, I mix the color with the with my palette knife, and then I'll just kind of scoop some up on my palette knife, and I'll eye it with the the uh, the reference photo that color. <clears throat> that I've separated and I can kind of tell from there if it's similar. And I don't always get it perfect. It just has to be close. It doesn't have to be exact or it can be a totally different color.
So I'm using some really small brushes on this frog, smaller than I normally work with. But to, in order to get the little detail, This was one of the colors that I was surprised at how dark it was on his belly. I mean, it, it almost looks white in the picture, but it's not at all. It was more of a tan color. I just love frogs, so I loved painting him so much. I have another frog that I did um, a couple years ago, and I did him in colored pencil, and I did a real close-up of him, and he he's one of my favorite pieces. I've got him hanging in my living room right now. And I would love to hang him up. He just does not match my decor at all. Maybe I'll hang him down in the basement. Surprisingly, I don't have a lot of my artwork hanging up. I've either sold it or I've given it away as gifts. Sorry, my big head in the way here. Okay, so I am about finished. I missed some of the details on the frog in this um, time lapse, just the recorded part. I think that I may have painted it off camera. Sometimes I'd come down um, and, and paint and not think that I was really going to do much that would you'd be able to tell on if I recorded it, but then I'd end up painting more than I uh, planned on. So I actually end up painting on this frog a little more once I'm finished. Once I think I'm finished, I, I guess I wasn't really finished, and I paint a little more. So I put a few more details, and you'll see that in the final picture. But I hope that you enjoyed this if you've made it through this far. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, and... If you are not subscribed, uh, subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like this. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you guys all next time. Goodbye!